What is going on, you guys? It is that time again for... What are we doing? An old-fashioned TTM video. How about that? Um, just kind of an array of stuff that's been coming in. Um, it's been slow going as of late. Um, but then again, my wife and I are moving in about four months to California. So I have since shifted about 70 to 80 percent of my TTMs to my father-in-law's house who's going to be living in the or lives in the neighboring town of where we're going to be moving and then some to my aunt's home in Houston Texas so I've only been sending stuff to the house that I know or I know should be pretty quick so we'll get through this nothing big um, and then while we go through this I will talk about two projects that um, I'm working on. Um, let me get here. I'm not very prepared. I apologize. Um, so the first project, um, kind of inspired by baseball collector Mike, is the signed Diamond Kings from when most of us were kids. Um, I absolutely love those cards. And due to Project 2020 and art cards kind of brought me back to thinking about those. Um, so I started getting some of those signed, and you could pick up a set of any random year for like 5 or $6 shipped. So it's not that bad. It's a lot cheaper than Project 2020. Um, but let's go ahead and show you what I got. So first, um, Mr. Dave Schmidt. All of these are just one of one. I just shipped them off. I didn't send two of anything. Um, Chris Sabo. Glenn Davis, which as a Houston Astros guy, um, I have very fond memories of him. Um, and then I, I think I'm pretty confident that we traded him for Jeff Bagwell, which even more fond memories. This was actually not TTM. This was actually a gift from DK um, a long, long time ago. But I have it here in this stack of Diamond Kings. This was a purchase. Dave Trebecki. Um, this was TTM with a $5 donation. He requires a $5 donation. Frank Viola. Jimmy D. Jim Deshays. Once again, as an Astros guy, I have fond memories. Um, he went on to do some play-by-play -play for the Astros, and I think he does play-by-play -play now for the Chicago Cubs, I believe. Rick Russell. I think some of the backgrounds on some of these cards are just absolutely hilarious, man. Okay, so that's that project. Um, I've been working on these, and I have something else up my sleeve that I might do with these. I'm still undecided. Um, so might be more to come on that. Um, my other project, and I might have talked about this in a past video, and if I did, I apologize. I recently watched a documentary on Ricky Henderson on MLB.com. I paid for the monthly subscription, and then with that came a whole bunch of freaking MLB documentaries and so on and so forth. And there was an hour-long documentary on him that was really, really good. And towards the middle, towards the end, it started talking about the 1989 um, Oakland Athletics that won the World Series and the Battle of the, Battle of the Bay Series that was them and the Giants. And so I started looking, as my brain often does, goes zooming off to other places while I'm in the moment. And I started thinking, like, man, there wasn't, like, a whole lot of studs. Not, like, there's some bigger name players on both of those teams, but nothing, like, gigantic. And I'm like, man, I wonder if I could TTM the Oakland A's. So I bought an Oakland A's set, and I got most of it TTM'd out. Um, three or four of the players have passed on. Um, I actually have a card to a Dennis Eckersley signing right now. I have a card in front of me. I'm going to be sending off to Jose Canseco at a signing. And then I got all of those cards out. And I was like, well, that was really fun. Let's try the San Francisco Giants also. <laughs> so I bought a, a 1989. That's what I'm, I'm doing. I'm, I bought 1989 top sets of the Giants and the A's. So I bought a 1989 top set of the Giants and it came in yesterday so um and actually it's right here in front of me so I'll just show you just so you don't just hear me rambling um so there are so many cards in these sets man 
And the only one, I wrote one letter last night, and it was to uh, Roger Craig, the manager of the Giants. So that's that. And then I'll show what's come in so far. The first one is Storm Davis, a pitcher for the Oakland Athletics, and he inscribed 1989 World Series champs and Battle of the Bay, which is going to be probably pretty tough to see. But it's all there. Um, really, really cool. Really happy for that, actually. Um, Tony LaRussa. And then um, Rick Russell. So this one actually came in. I sent two with that Diamond Kings that you've seen earlier. Um, and I actually sent those off before I even was going to do this project. So it just happened to be an awesome coincidence. So there's the two kind of fun projects as a TTMer. You get kind of bored sometimes, and so you kind of got to think of some projects to keep the creative juices flowing. Moving on to the stack I have in front of me, um, I've heard this dude is very, very tough, and I posted this in a Facebook group, and um, some people kind of confirmed that. But two of two from Tom Jackson, you might better know him as kind of a ESPN co-anchor with Chris Berman for so many years. Um, but really cool to get that in. Lee Smith, which he charges $20 per, uh, which I don't, I really don't think it's worth it um, personally, but hey, it might be worth it to you. And if it's worth it to you, then it's worth it. Um, I tried to send him two cards and $30. And he sent me back one card signed and um, my $10 back. So he's very strict, $20 per. Rookie card of Carl Eller and another card of uh, Lenny Moore. Just trying to show off a couple here at a time. This gentleman, man, God bless his soul, man. He's... I think he's going to TTM till the day he passes away. He's getting older and older, and his handwriting is getting very, very bad. Um, but that's Mr. Phil Necro. I sent him two of two. These came in about a month ago um, with a $20 donation. So I think if you haven't sent to him by now, you might, might have missed that window. Um, this one is just insane, man. 1997 Metal Universe. I forgot this card was even out. Look at this thing. Absolutely ridiculous. These Metal Universe cards, when I was a kid, were definitely some of my favorite cards um, to get. It was, I thought it was like a mixture of almost like comic book cards, like Marvel cards and football cards. Um, back then, I didn't collect football, but, you know, baseball had the same the same sets. And then, last in this video, a guy that, I'll be honest with you, I didn't think he signed TTM. I've never, ever, ever seen a TTM from return from this guy. Um, and then I was watching some YouTube and, and so on and so forth, and I seen one guy, two guys, three guys get this guy in. So I did some research. And uh, found an address for him, and there you go, man. How about three of three from uh, Keith Hernandez? And the third one you don't see because it's in a PSA submission I have off to the side, which was his rookie card. So um, this Diamond King will be going in the other stack of Diamond Kings, but I didn't want to blow my cover on that return until the end. Um, I personally feel that that Keith Hernandez return is a huge return. Um, I've been TTM in for a long, long time, and I've never seen a return from him until about a month ago when I seen those gentlemen get it. And then this particular card, um, I've been thinking about doing this set for a long time because anyone that has known me for a while knows I have a pretty large infatuation with the Houston Astrodome. And you have the Astrodome at the top, and then these cards are for the 1986 All-Star Game, which was played there in Houston inside the Astrodome. So that is that. This is actually the first card from that set I've held in my hand. So now that I've done that and seen that they're pretty cool in person, 
Um, I might actually do that and pull the trigger. So I hope y'all enjoyed just a plain old TTM video. Um, these are very fun to do, but unfortunately I don't do them often enough. So till next time, adios, be safe. Bye-bye. Toodles. Y'all have a great weekend, y'all.